when we try to explore a new career field but we are not sure whether it's a good idea to spend heavy amount of money into that content or course then a thought immediately crosses our mind that nowadays so much content is available for free why not to learn from that instead of buying a course but we all know the biggest problem with free resources that they are mostly not structured and can cost us more in terms of just learning the random stuff uh, than investing in actual structured course plus there is no validation for free learning i mean we can't put it on our linkedin or resume that i spent 20 hours of learning on internet we can't do that but do you know you can actually get great results through free resources as well provided you are mindful of few things and today i'll share some amazing tips and solutions so that you can start your career journey even after learning through free resources so on that note let's get started so to tackle the biggest problem of unstructured course you have to make sure that you pick the courses the free content from a trustable platform and it is delivered under its dedicated category and for the same i want to introduce you to an amazing platform of free courses i'm sure you all must have uh, heard about premium content of simply learn it's a famous platform but recently i discovered that they have a free content platform as well called as skills up by simply learn there are tons of free courses under so many categories that you can learn from be it data science cyber security digital marketing business leadership software development there are so many categories to choose from and all of that is absolutely free of cost 90 days of free access to the course you choose to enroll in and you can also cater to that validation problem of free courses because they give you job ready certification once you complete your course obviously you'll have to complete the course before you can get the certificate but they do give it and that's a short short validation which you can put on your linkedin profile and your resume as well so it does get counted Plus, if you're interested into ongoing learning and you want to keep yourself updated with the upcoming technologies or technology in general, you can also uh, attend their webinars that are also free of cost. They keep doing these webinars on uh, evolving technologies or trending technologies where you can find answers to your career queries. So that's an amazing thing to have. And if you wish, you can attend those webinars also it doesn't cost a penny from your side. So for your convenience, I've put the link in description box as well as in the comment section. Do check it out. Now rolling back to other points which you must keep in your mind when you are learning through free resources and on number two is that you must narrow down your career choice before you start on a course. Most of these online courses are designed to make you learn the technology or whatever subject you are choosing to enroll in. They are not there to help you choose your career option most of the time that's the case the fact is when people enroll in premium courses they are very mindful they are very thoughtful they'll analyze everything they'll research like thousand times and will actually overthink all the aspect of investing into that course even if it is for 200 rupees or 300 rupees which is less than their average pizza cost that they must be eating every week so funny enough people do that but when it comes to free courses they just do the opposite they just do not even do the bare minimum analysis of their career choice just because it's free course they just jump onto it before even analyzing whether they need it or not whether it is their actual career choice or not they'll start into one course because it's free they'll complete it till the half and then they'll hop on to some other course which is completely for a different career field and then they'll also not complete that and this jumping continues till they feel frustrated and overwhelmed and come to a point where they feel that this is not something they can do they are useless they are not smart enough not intelligent enough because they are not able to get through anything this happens when you do not choose your career option well please do not do this courses whether they are free or premium are designed to make you learn the skill so make sure that you do the homework of choosing the career field by yourself and in a right way spend time and effort on this exercise where you genuinely sit down and analyze what you really want to do or pick as a career this is very simple exercise you can find plenty of videos on my channel on this and if you are not capable of doing it yourself though it's pretty simple anyone can do it but still if you need some guidance or hand holding around doing this exercise then i already have some premium content on it you can check that out otherwise you can do it on your own very much so now moving on to our next point which is starting with the right expectations so to help you understand this point better, let me narrate it with the help of a real life scenario. Say for example, you are struggling to find 
an address you want to go somewhere somebody's house and you are not able to find the address by yourself um reason can be any whatever the reason may be and you're struggling and then in that moment of struggle you found a stranger on the street and you ask that person how to reach that address so that stranger actually gives you the directions uh, how many twists and turns you have to take and in which direction and then you know you'll finally reach that destination so you listen to him and you take all the directions that he told and you finally reach the destination. So in this scenario, if you were not able to follow the instructions for whatever reason, maybe you were not paying attention to what he was saying carefully or maybe you used your brain too much to decide on the shortcut in between, reasons can be many. And then when you do not reach the destination and then you complain about that stranger that how selfish that person was, why couldn't he just come along with you and drop you at the destination. So you tell me, is it a good expectations to have? I believe most of you will say that, no, this is not a very practical expectation to have from someone. But funny enough, most of the people have that kind of expectation from all the courses they enroll in be it from a good institute, be it from an average institute, be it from a premium course or be it from a free course. All the people, most of the people who enroll in it, enroll with this expectation that once they are enrolled, it's the course creator's responsibility or the institute that they have enrolled in, it's the institute's responsibility to make them sit on the chair in a MNC office. So that's not how it happens. They can guide you they can make you learn the technology you will have to put the effort of learning and you will have to make sure that you understand it well absorb those instructions and then follow it you can practice it hands-on or whatever that subject may be and i'm sure all of you must have seen hundreds of examples by yourself as well that people who took the same course ended up getting different results because it's all about with what intention you get into that course or what and what expectations you have from that course because accordingly you'll put the effort the one who feels that this is a course it will give me the direction and show me how to reach uh, the place where i want to reach and efforts will be mine that person will always succeed and if the person have expectations like now i've enrolled in now it's their responsibility to make me successful that kind of person is not going to be successful no matter what now moving on to our next point which is quite similar to what we just discussed which is do not repeat the mistake that you did in your graduation yes most of us do our graduation or studies in college very lightly we, we never think about employability or building the skill set until it's the last day it's the day for placements and when we have to actually go into the field and search for the job before that most of us do not think about the employability factor or building the skill set. That's the reality. Now you have to learn from your mistake. If you are enrolling for any course, that's because you are not employable or you do not have the skill set which is as per expectations of employees which can employ you in certain field. That's why you are taking the course. So now you do not need uh, the degrees for their label labels you already have you have the degrees with you but you do not have the skill set to justify those degrees so now you are building your skill set so put in your effort do not take it or pass through the course just for the sake of it otherwise it will be the same mistake again that you did with your degree do not do that if you have that kind of mindset that it's the institute's responsibility or the course creator's responsibility to make me reach there then i would request you not take the course at all do not enroll into that institute do not do that do not waste hardened money of yourself or your parents the day you decide to enroll in any course be it a free course or a premium course promise yourself that i'll not repeat my past mistakes and i will take the ownership of building my skill set and that's why i'm enrolling into this course and i will work on my skill set and it's my responsibility to make myself employable and not to blame anybody else now moving on to our fifth and final point which is invest on your level up your next fancy dress can wait your next pizza party can definitely wait and all the subscriptions of games or series or movies that you are taking spending on can definitely wait but your level up cannot wait anymore your precious years of experimentations are just passing by at the speed of light you cannot afford to lose even a single day more on stupid stuff no matter what career choice you are interested in 
you want to do a job invest in that you want to start a business invest in that start today start putting some efforts and whatever you can your time money energy whatever you can put in in your level up please do that and we are so fortunate to be present in this generation where there's so much to explore online itself there are plenty of resources available as per need of mostly every one of us every one of us can find something that suits our need maybe uh, it's premium or it's free something is there for everybody online you can explore the resources in the comfort of your home so make sure that you develop that habit of researching about it and then investing on your upskill continuously and nothing is more liberating than the feeling of financial independent trust me on this guys it's a great feeling and it will set a base for you to enjoy many more great things in your life so do not shy away from spending on your professional front so guys uh, those were five points which if you put in your mindset if you put them nicely in your thought process i'm sure you can find success with any kind of content and also as we discussed do explore the free platform by simply learn called skill up it doesn't cost you anything they have plenty of free courses under so many categories so that will surely help you so guys that was it with that we came to the end of this video i really hope you derived some value out of this discussion and with that i'm signing off you keep on watching more content on the corporate diaries to be corporate ready and i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care Bye.